me 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 hey what's going on guys this is for everybody who downloaded a version of Maya I'm gonna show you guys how to add the Call of Duty plugin now there's gonna be a download in the video description it's gonna say scripts now what you want to do is you want to navigate to your um, my documents and in my documents as soon as you open up Maya it's gonna put this folder here now whichever version of Maya you have from 2012 and up this will work. So me, I'm currently using 2014. So as soon as you go into Maya, it's going to say the version that you have, 2014, or else it could be 2015, 16, 17, 2013. You know, most likely you guys went up to the latest version. But for me, I'm going to be using 2014 because it's, to me, this version is perfect. All right, so I'm going to double click on that. And you're going to see this folder called scripts. This is where you're going to put the files. Or at least leave it on this um, folder right here where it's showing scripts. Double click on the raw file. As you can see, I named the scripts also. So just put it in here. That way it'll replace it. And that's it. Now all you have to do is just open up Maya. Give it a second. There we go. Alright, and here it is, Call of Duty Tools. Now we're able to actually make our own X models, modify existing ones, and also if you're going to be doing any kind of porting for, weapon, for weapons, uh, this is the app to have because you'll be able to do all of that. X animation, export X model, import models, let's say if you have it from World at War or the first Modern Warfare, you can actually import models from there. So let me show you guys what I mean. Right now I'm going to import a model, a bookshelf. Do this one. This is not a character. Let me zoom out. Move it up. And let me put it in press 5 for shaded mode and 6 for color mode. So now I can actually look at the bookshelf. See it? And I can actually change it up if I want. Now, the reason it's not positioned the right way is because this is a Call of Duty is a Z up access. So I'm going to go over to Window and Settings and Preferences. Preferences. And I'm going to let me see Display. No, it's not that settings. Yes. So right now it's on Y up access. We want to put that on Z so it'll work for Call of Duty and hit OK. Now let me uh, delete this or at least do a new scene. And let me import the model now. Call of Duty 5. Bookshelf wide. No, it's not a character. And there it is and it's in the upright position. Let me press 6 for shaded mode. Get out. Turn it over. And there it is. There's the model. Now this is just like Radiant. It's just more advanced. This program actually cost a few thousand. But uh, let's say if I hit space park, I have different views I can work with. Put shaded mode on all of them. And this is the front view. This is the side view. And this is the top view. And this is your camera mode, which is pretty cool. You can switch to whatever view you want. And there you have it. That's how you add the Maya plugins. Now I am going to be showing you guys how to make X models, how to export them. And, you know, that's going to come in a later video. I just want to make sure you guys have all the tools to get ready and get your ass up and running and um, you know everything is set right now it says set path to export to bin now this is a must because you actually have to navigate to the program that actually turns it into a bin file so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to my computer you're gonna go to C and you're gonna go to program files x86 you're gonna go to Steam Steam apps common 
you're going to go into your Black Ops 3 root folder. And you have to go over to bin. Click on bin. And you're going to find the program that says export to bin. That's it right there. So this is what you have to navigate to. Double click on that. And now whenever you make a, a model, it'll export it to a bin format. That way you could convert it with the Ape program on launcher and you're good to go. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you guys install the plugin. And in the next video, I'll show you guys how to make your own X models. If you're not too familiar with how to work in Maya on making your own models or, um, you know, getting started, there is a guy on YouTube that I watched his videos and he really helped me out on how to learn to use Maya. And his name is Mike Hermes. And he has the best videos to learn how to make your own X models. Like, check this out. If I check this, look at that. He made all of these with Maya. Look how realistic it looks. And this is basically the best guy to go to if you want to learn for yourself. Check out all that. Look, he made this table, made that. Look at this cage. Look at this table set. You know, he knows how to explain things. And, you know, if you really want to get started with Maya, his channel is the way to go. I'm going to have a link down in the description. You know, and he's going to break it down on how to how to make all of this. Look at these swords. Look at this um, crate. Look at that hammer. Look at that soda can. You know, he has so many videos. Look at that. He's going to explain how to do all of that. So if you guys are willing to give Maya a chance and make your own X models and you want a few tips on how to go about it, his videos are the way to go. So if anything, just go to his channel, click on videos, and make sure you um, go to the beginning of his videos. Look at that. Look at that, making a, a sofa chair. Look, if you want to develop your own gun, look at that. That's like a space type ray gun. The, this guy is amazing. Look, robot, a chair. Look at that. And all of this he made with Maya. And his videos are extremely simple. So if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe. And of course, I'm going to leave a link to his site on YouTube. And uh, let me know how you guys are liking it. And I'll see you on the next one, okay? Peace.